Here's a situation that happens sometimes in Articulate Storyline. I've got this slide where I've um, added some objects. You can see them down here in the timeline. And I previously had some music on this slide as well. I had an audio clip that was pretty long. It was about 45 seconds. And when I added that sound, it of course caused my timeline to go all the way out to you know 45 seconds to accommodate the length of my music. So if we scroll to the end here, you can see that we're at the 45 second mark. Well, I changed my mind. I deleted the sound because I didn't want it anymore. But what happens is when you've got an object or a piece of media that's a fixed length like that, the timeline is still going to stay at whatever length it was before you deleted that item. So an Articulate Storyline user was asking in the forums today, what's a quick way that we can get this timeline duration back to what it was before? Like if we don't need all of this you know, timeline duration here anymore. I mean, that's a pretty long slide, 45 seconds, and I really don't need it. I really have all of my action is happening within the first six seconds. So here's a couple of things that you can do. If you go all the way to the end here, if we use the scroll bar to get to the very end point of the timeline, what you can do is click and hold and drag to the left, and that's going to shorten the timeline. And you don't need to release it when you get to, you know, kind of the edge here. Um, what sometimes people will do is they'll release here and then they'll scroll, right? So that they can see, whoops, there it is. They can see the end again and then they'll click and drag and release and then scroll again. Well, you really don't need to do it that way. You can click and drag and then just keep scrolling. You can go right over top of these uh, object titles over here and see how the scrolling is now happening automatically. And then when I release, then it stops. So that's one way. You can just drag way over to the left so that the scrolling is going to happen for you and you don't need to keep releasing and scrolling and releasing and scrolling. Another thing, if I just, uh, let me just undo this again, another thing that you might want to do is um, change the zoom because that's going to allow you to see more of your slide timeline probably than what you're already looking at. Like right now, you can see if my, um, if we look down here in the lower left, my zoom setting is all the way to the right it's zoomed in as far as it can go, which means I'm seeing a very granular level of detail here, right down to the eighth of a second here on these little markings of my timeline, right? Well, I really don't need that amount of detail if I'm just shortening up the duration by, you know, in this case, quite a few seconds, like 30 seconds or so. So what I'm going to do is come down here to my zoom. And I'm going to click and drag the slider all the way to the left. And as I do that, now we can see all of the slide duration in one view. I don't need to scroll to the right to see the end point. I'm seeing everything all in one place. And of course the detail, you know, is not quite as granular like it was before, but that's okay. I don't need that right now. I'm just shortening my end point. So now I can click and drag my end point and see everything all at once. It's much easier you know, to shorten the length of my timeline that way. So those are a couple of tips if you're finding yourself scrolling a lot on the slide timeline in Articulate Storyline to adjust your uh, timeline's duration.